Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Tiffany. Today I'm going to be reviewing the UGG Fluff Yeah and Oh Yeah slides. So if you are interested in getting these and want to have a quick review and just my overview of them, then keep on watching. And if you haven't already, please check out my Instagram and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and we'll get right into this. So, the UGG Fluffier and Oh Yeah slides. I've got the Fluffier slides in this lovely lavender colour. It's called June Gloom on the website. And then I've got the black ones from my mum in Oh Yeah um, from the website as well. It's just a standard black colour. I think these are such cute slippers. They are slippers slash shoes. So it does say on the website, actually, I wrote it down, that they say it's combining a slipper and a sandal. So you can wear them as both. But I think they're so cute. I love the design. So if you haven't seen, this is how they look when they come out of the box. In the box, they're wrapped up usually a lot more in a tissue paper. Of course, I've got not got as much wrapping on them because I've already had them for some time. But they come wrapped in the UGG tissue paper and then have this plastic lining inside, which I guess keeps the shape of them and keeps the elastic in position. That way they look nice when they come to you. I've kept them like this for the time being when I'm not wearing them, just to keep the shape. But I don't know if it might stretch the elastic over time, so I might not keep them like that but yeah for now i've kept them like that with the plastic in and then it comes with the ugg care card which just like gives you an overview of the material and just how to keep them nice and it says when ugg was founded and you know just like the typical care card sort of thing i haven't read this properly anyway so these slippers the fluffier ones are a hundred pounds on the website and most retailers and then the fluffier slides are 80 pounds so you can like get 10 percent off like i know in the ugg website if you haven't signed up for their mailing list you can get 10 percent off so like a tenner off these or eight pounds off these which is quite handy as well or if you've got a student discount i know some places give like 20 percent off student discounts you can do that as well and see if there's like vouchers anywhere or um where the stores have that kind of stuff at the time so how i would wear these i don't know if i would wear these as like outdoor shoes so like I say when I say outdoor I mean like as in like everyday like sort of use so I mean I love them as house slippers I think because I'm working from home right now I use them for that so I wear them around the house and everything I can imagine like wearing them like I've envisioned them when I see when I say outdoor as like airport or like on holiday like you know around the hotel around like the area like I wouldn't I don't imagine myself like dressing them up sort of thing like i'd see them as more casual wear and i said like on the website like style them with your favorite skirt or pair of jeans i mean i haven't tried to style them with jeans so maybe in summer it might be a bit different i think my perspective on them is a bit different because i live in london and it's winter right now and it's raining a lot so i can't envision them as like outdoor shoes at the moment but i feel like maybe in summer i might find like better ways to style them and wear them like when i'm out and things but right now in winter they would just be indoor shoes i think the oh yeah slides i can imagine more um with outfits in summer actually now that i think about it but yeah for winter they are literally just staying as like indoor house slippers and that is pretty much it so with the sizing i got mine in a six um they are true to size i've seen quite a few or in my opinion anyway because i've seen quite a few people tell you to size down if you have wide feet don't size down i have wide feet i am a size six like lengthwise but my feet are quite wide and what i found with these is they are quite narrow just because of the design so because um they are lined with sheepskin and it's quite stiff so there's not as much like breathing room for your feet so if your feet are wide i would not recommend sizing down because there's just not they're quite sturdy so which means they keep their shape but it also means there's not a lot of like wiggle room so yeah if you are if you do have wide feet i'd definitely say stick to this stick to your shoe size and i saw a lot of people complaining that this part um falls down and things a lot i don't know if maybe that's different design like older designs maybe but with these ones as you can see like the elastic when it's not stretched out already doesn't go past the edge of the shoe so if i did put my foot in it maybe stretch to the edge of the shoe but it, it wouldn't like 
fall I, I haven't had that thing of it falling off the edge again I haven't worn them outside yet so that could be an issue when like walking on a pavement or like on cobblestone something like that that might be the issue where they fall to the side so that's why I feel like I'm gonna be selective where I wear them because I don't want to have that thing of like tripping over and my ankle falls to the side and it, you know that thing that just goes like that like I've seen a lot of people say that happens and I really don't want that to happen so I'm probably gonna be quite selective and just wear them on level ground sort of places but yeah um with these ones if you want to size down maybe you could because they don't have the banding here so there is more space for your feet but yeah um with sizing down with slippers and sandals I mean you do have the issue of where your toes going to go so sizing down with like normal Ugg boots I do that usually with my regular Uggs because they're just a bit more snug and tight fitting and they do like mold to your feet shape a bit more but with like normal sandals there's like edges <laughs> so I feel like if you size down um, depending on how long areas of your feet are you don't want like cliffhangers <laughs> sort of thing of like your feet hanging off the edge I mean these are a size 5 my mum is one size down for me and they fit me so if you want to size down one maybe it's not too bad but I wouldn't size down like two whole sizes so if, if you're like a half size or something like that then that should be fine speaking of half sizes they do come in just like solid sizes so if you are like a half size maybe then you might want to size down but yeah they don't have half sizes on the website they start from a UK 3 to a UK 9 so I'm a UK 6 which is a US 8 it does say 8 on the box as well actually and um, for USA then have 6 or 39 um what it would be like for the eu so yes yeah, so for sizing as well in case i know some people say like you can get them in the kids section if you're up to a certain size i mean on the uk website the ladies section the sizes start from size three so i guess if you are that low in size you may be able to get some in the kids section i know with ugg that wasn't the case for me but like other shops like Foot Locker, their, their kid sizes go up to size six so i definitely check the kids section <laughs> for their sort of areas and things but yeah the material of them they are quite a really firm base so if you did want to wear them as outdoor shoes they are very much like ready for that it's really really firm and hard and even though it is all lined in sheepskin i don't know what material is inside here but it is rock solid and that's the only thing that's i guess that's my only complaint i had with them where i was standing up for a long amount of time they just didn't feel as comfortable because they're so sturdy so I know it is lined in like sheepskin but the actual like <laughs> hard part that it's just so stiff and hard it just felt a bit like I was walking on bricks <laughs> like it was just it was very very like like rock, literally rock hard so yeah that's my only complaint that standing in them for a long amount of time wasn't comf comfortable it was still comfortable because they're fluffy but uncomfortable because of how hard they are underneath the fluff if that makes sense so yeah I mean I can only give reviews of me wearing them in the house. We are in the middle of a pandemic, so who knows when I'll be able to actually wear them outside or wear them on holiday like I've imagined in the first place. But I do think they'd be really cute either way, whether you wear them indoors or outdoors. Ooh, I just I do feel like if you live in a warmer country, you may be able to enjoy these like outdoors all the time. Like I feel like if I lived in LA or somewhere, I probably would live in these. Like because they they are just like really cute every day shoes to throw on and like I feel like I'd run errands in these all the time and things but yeah living in London in the rain right now I just don't see that <laughs> being the cause for them but yeah I will give you some shots of how they look and just so you can see how they look on bear in mind that these are the ones that I size down in so you can sort of see how they fit on my feet as well just in case you are thinking of sizing down and if you do have wide feet like me you can see how they look on as well
that was my quick overview of the Arg Fluffier and Oh Yes slides. I hope you enjoyed this video and if it was helpful to you, if you're thinking of getting them, then please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see more from me and check out my Instagram and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much. Bye. Thank you.